36-year-old Jessica Downing used to suffer from a crippling fear of breast cancer, especially after watching her mother die from the disease about a year ago at the age of 54. For months, she struggled with whether to go through genetic testing to determine if she were at high risk of developing breast cancer herself. And then it all became clear to her. After watching my mom, um, the way she passed away, um, it actually made my decision um, a lot easier to make. Jessica decided to go through genetic testing and counseling in the St. Mary's Hereditary Cancer Risk Assessment Program, testing that proved positive. With the BRCA1 and 2 gene, that really significantly elevates your risk for hereditary breast cancer and ovarian cancer. So for general population, all females have about an 8% chance of developing breast cancer in their lifetime. If you're a carrier of the BRCA1 or 2 gene, that can go up to 60 almost 80 percent depending you know on on how it's good so it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get cancer you're just at a much elevated risk and there's things that we want to be able to do to help reduce those risks and you know help hopefully you know prevent someone from developing cancer when we talk about hereditary familial breast cancer we're talking about their genes we're talking about their family and the genes that come along with uh, being a part of your family there are certain genes that increase your risk of breast cancer and being able to be educated about what risks those are really helps patients be able to make educated decisions. There are certain medical therapies that are appropriate as well as uh, at times surgical interventions that reduce risk. And so uh, NISA really helps organize that clinic, uh, helps communicate with patients. After being educated about her risks and options, Jessica chose to have a prophylactic hidden scar nipple sparing mastectomy at St. Mary's Breast Center. The fear's gone, like my chances of getting cancer now have went from like sky high to I think like 11% now. Jessica also chose to have hidden scar breast reconstruction by Dr. Ben Musavi at the same time as her mastectomy. Both procedures were performed through inconspicuous incisions in the natural creases under her breasts, leaving her with virtually no visual reminders of having a double mastectomy. I think that'll be a big thing, you know, for gene positive patients to know that even if they are positive, you know, there's a great outcome and a great expectation for their surgery. But that great aesthetic outcome is often dependent on timely detection and action. If you catch it early enough, if you have the BRCA gene and you know it and you decide to do preventative, then you have way more options of what it looks like. But most important, Dr. Musavi says genetic testing, early detection, and timely follow-up are life-saving. We don't like anybody to uh, play odds when you're talking about 80% and in that though is the personal part of it which means the timing is up to you you know and, and the time stage in your life is up to you as long as you understand those percentages and you know we at least need to be screening again so that we can t detect these things when they're as small as possible if that's the case. When we're talking genes and genetics men can be affected as well. So if there are men in the family, then we test them because they can be at elevated risk for male breast cancer, prostate cancer. So we are gonna do some things you know, differently with them, but also they have a chance of being a carrier. They might not ever develop anything, but they could pass it on to their children. So that's when we sit down and we lay out who else needs to be tested. We believe that we got it from my grandfather that passed it to my mother that passed it down to me and my sister. Knowledge is power. You can do a lot with it and there's a lot that we can do to help them. So, you know, some people don't want that though. Some will decide this is not something that I want to do and that's okay. But a lot of people will come and see me and say, you know, I, I may not really want to know this for myself, but I need to do this for my family. And that means a lot. For Jessica Downing, it means peace of mind, knowing that she stands a good chance of living a long life with the people she loves. Sometimes you gotta just realize that your family is uh, needs you, and if you don't get your testing, um, you don't do your routine mammograms, um, you don't take care of things while you have the opportunity to take care of things, you could blink, be 54 years old, um, and deceased. Um, there's nothing more in the world that my kids want more than to spend time with my mom, um, and she's gone. Um, if she would have had the genetic testing done at, say, 35 years old, she would be still alive today. 
I started my process um, less than six months ago and I'm done um, and I do not have that fear anymore of not being here like my mom's not here. For more information, please contact the St. Mary's Breast Center at 304-526-8221 or visit our website at st-marys.org.